This session was recorded at the Display Innovation Workshop we held on the 23rd of March 2022 in Birmingham. Morning. I was going to use a COVID excuse today, but it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, morning. I'm a sales, manager, a sales director for Journey of Passenger Systems. Uh, we prepared, uh, prepared a, a short presentation about some of our solutions that we provide in the marketplace. So we've got a content uh, of who we are, what sort of displays we provide, um, some of our project roadmap in terms of ultra low power, full color LED range as well. We'll cover some of our totems and wayfinding solutions and what are we working on as well. So some of you probably heard of Journey or 21st. So we have moved on to uh, our parent company now is a new name uh, for uh, Journey is a new name for 21st Passenger Systems. Uh, we are adopting the name of our parent company and brands, both operating companies. So we've got 30 years of experience working with local authorities. At the moment, we've got about 88 local authorities we work for across the UK, from PTEs to small parish councils to city councils. So display range, um, as we all know, there's not one product fits all solutions. So we've got multiple products for different scenarios, i.e. Uh, in shelter, on pole, bespoke solutions, solar, uh, wind turbine. So ultra low power displays, so it's something that we've been working on with our clients. There's a big drive in terms of reducing your carbon footprint and how we can support sustainable transport. So as you can see on the left hand side there, we've got a, a battery powered with a combination of solar and the aim of that product is to be net zero in terms of carbon impact. Completely off grid, so it reports back to our system every 15 minutes in terms of its uh, usability. It, it can be delivered and installed in rural locations, on pole or existing sites. Um, and then we've got a combination of solar and battery. So with that flag display, with a combination of solar and battery, we can get up to seven years of uh, working life. And on battery only, it's three years. Okay, and it's a 13.3 E-ink formation with the backlight. And driving through our EPI content management system. So we also have a feature with that display that we have an LED light as well for passengers. There's no point in providing technology where it's just a backlit. You also need to keep the passengers safe in terms of the surrounding. So we've got an LED panel with it as well. So in terms of our uh, product roadmap, over the last couple of years, we've been looking at in terms of efficiencies and driving power down uh, using PII sensors when, when, you, when the display is not required. There's no point in having a display running 24 hours a day when there's no one at the bus stop. So we're using smart technology to switch off panel, the computing when it's not required. We're looking at improving the aesthetics of the, the actual product itself in terms of catering for uh, the, the, the passengers. Um, and then we've got new formats of displays as well, as you can see there. So we've got 28 inch stretch um, and we've got a, a 32 inch display, which is our e-ink display, large format there as well. So in terms of uh, high definition and TFT displays, this is a project we've just recently uh, delivered up in Edinburgh. So this is Edinburgh bus station that we've secured. Um, so there's not one product that fit all scenarios. So there's a TFTs are based in high frequency locations, content rich data. So you can put stuff like points of interest, onward journey information, vias and timing points. With your templates, you can also do occupancy information. So what, one of the big questions that we get at bus stations is how do I get to the hospital from here or the railway station or to the university? So within the content management system, we can also put icons to make that information more understandable. Uh, within the, the TFD displays as well, you can have audio react or, or, or trigger board through the R or react system or push button as well. So in terms of the on-street displays, um, this is typically of a 28-inch or a 38-inch product. 
Um, there's probably hundreds of these in, in, across the UK. Um, there's different formations. Um, so it typically displays IK or 9 rated, so if you attack it, it'll play dead for X amount of time, report back to the, the, the system. Uh, essentially, it, it, we've got a number of um, additional features within the product. So you can send it to sleep, you've got light sensor. The biggest value add that we've got is the CCTV built into the product. So it's constantly recording, feeding data back into a control room, uh, as and when required. Okay. Just, just, just to know on that, that's something I know in uh, a lot of the BSIPs, it's asking for security at bus stops. So because um, we're part of a larger group, we've done CCTV for many years on, on the other side of the business, that's enabled us to bring that capability into the display side. So that CCTV is then uh, remotely accessible either through a cloud portal that, again, we can provide, or if you have an existing UTMC or CCTV control room, integrate the CCTV back into that. So they'll have done a lot of the DPIAs already. So in a lot of cases, that's easy for them. So it's a, an important feature for us. Thanks, Dave. So for TFWM, we, we feed back 600 uh, systems back into the control room for the Sprint Corridor. So we'll do more integration with the control rooms. Thanks, Dad. So in terms of full color LED, probably new to the UK market, in terms of what's on offer, uh, we secured a contract with TFWM. Um, we're looking at using different type of technology, but to enhance the customer experience. So what was on offer uh, initially was TFT. So we've got 72 totems around Birmingham, and the plan was to upgrade those totems, which had current LED displays on there. Uh, we went to the drawing board, we, we suggested TFT, but what, one, one of the concerns was uh, the reflection uh, and the brightness, because TFT runs at 2,500 candela. So a project that we worked on um, was to create an LED product range, but the value add would be full color, uh, and especially to get images on there as well. So we, we came up with a product. Um, 3 mil pitch, full color LED, as you can see on the, on the left-hand side. This is a series of tiles, enabling us now to put full images on and have the same features as a TFT. Um, we've got 72 totems around the Midlands, which are double-sided. And the plan there is to engage with all road users, not just bus. So on one side, you can have cycling, walking, air quality, Commonwealth Games. So we've got a couple of templates set up on the, the flag po uh, display there which you can show you what's possible. We're taking live API feeds. So for example, cycling. So if you're standing at the bus stop, and you're looking, you know, what time's my bus to you? But at the same time, it's telling you about the cycle counter within that vicinity as well. So that's then led on to a stretch product. So we've now got a in shelter or on pole, single or double sided uh, LED product, which is three uh, mil pitch. And we've got now access to a two mil pitch LED product. The, the real key advantage of LED, it, it, it runs at five and a half thousand candela. So you're reaching a, you've got, you've got a far richer content at a longer range. I think a lot of people probably know us for doing TFT displays traditionally. Um, of course, LED displays haven't, as perhaps maybe some of us thought, might disappear over time. Uh, they haven't. A lot of people still like LED displays because of the brightness and the longevity. So hence the development of our colour LED, just to enhance that traditional orange dot matrix display gives you a little bit more capability and flexibility. So all the, the templates that you're seeing on those displays are pushed out through our EPI system. So those are media templates pushing out, as you can see, you can see full colour images, messages. We've also given access to operators. So in terms of operators, they'll have their own information to push out. Uh, we've created some templates for the Commonwealth Games, so making accessible information accessible. So for example, here's boxing associated to the venue. You, you know, and if you're new to the town, you just want to get to your venue. Um, touching on totems, we couldn't get one in here as to at all. <laughs> so um, we've noticed a huge growth in terms of onward journey planning for our passengers. Um, there's, well, you've got in shelter displays, great, I can get them from my onward journey. We've noticed a, a substantial growth in the market in terms of providing interactive information to that passenger, engaging with that passenger. So wayfinding, multilingual, um, journey planning, uh, 
um, cycling and walking, air quality. So we're working with barrel bike scheme, for example, taking their live API. We're taking the rail API data and showing that the information. So we've got a huge range of totems, all shapes and sizes, uh, start from 32 inch and they go up to a 55 inch. We've now started an LED totem range as well. So we're integrating these into bus shelters. So we've got some key features that roll over from totems onto uh, our displays as well. So what are we working on? Over to you, Ted. Over to me. Um, <clears throat> so of course, all these um, products and displays that you've seen so far, um, they all operate off our own content management system, EPI. I think we have a few users of that in the room uh, as well. Um, but of course, not just uh, will our displays work on our own CMS. Um, there's a lot of uh, talk, of course, about the displays running on, um, uh, talk about a national uh, real-time prediction engine, national CMS. So, of course, we're working closely as a business, making sure that our products adhere to any forthcoming standards as well. So if they need to be uh, non-proprietary and slot into other people's systems or work with national um, data sets, then that's, that's what we're aiming to do with our displays as well. That's probably uh, it for that. Thank you very much. Short and sweet. <laughs> There we go. Any questions for Journey? Yeah. Yeah. Stephen Turner, Are you working on long range Wi Fi? And how do you see that fitting into delivering data? Long range Wi Fi. So, obviously, we, we do have systems that are running. All our displays can either be hardwired, connected up via 3G, 4G, 5G. Uh, and in terms of Wi Fi, again, we do have systems that are running on Wi Fi. Um, when you say long range Wi Fi. Laura Wi Fi, too. Laura Wi Yeah, Laura. Yeah. Yes. We have the acronym. We do have um, some test systems, practically Laura One, to be on the uh, low power. Thanks, Dan. For more information on the work of Artig, please visit our website rtig.org.uk. Thank you.